So we finally get to decorate today and I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this moment for what feels like a lifetime, but we are obviously doing the whole nursery in Pooh Bear and I have some cute little things that I want to add to the room to make it look complete and final before baby gets here. So everything's washed and ready to go and set out and unboxed and so I'm just going to take you guys through it real quick. Um, this is from Amazon. It's just a cute little, very simple portrayal of the 100 acre wood. Um, and I just love it so much. I I love it so much. Um, I didn't realize it didn't come with a frame. I should have realized it. I just didn't read on Amazon. Um, but we have a frame coming for that. Um, and then we've got some Winnie the Pooh books over here, which I'm actually going to put between this little these little bookends. Yes, I'm very aware that the rabbit's ears are broken off. This came from the thrift store. I don't really care too much about stuff looking perfect. Um, this is a little sign I actually had in my son's nursery, but his nursery was not poo. It was an elephant's. <laughs> um, this little poo bear. Oh my gosh, you guys, this thing is so cute. I think he has an on button. Yeah, he's 100% got an on button at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like, he lights up. He's supposed to be like a night light. Um, yeah, you can't really see it in the daytime. Um, or in the daylight, I should say. Whoops! But he is so cute. He's just so neutral colored in in the, the daytime when he's turned off. And I think he just adds a little cute little element to the corner of the room. But um, this actually is a little picture frame. It holds pictures up here. Um, I think I got this for Milo's first birthday because his first birthday we did in Pooh. Um, over here is our blanket, so we've got a little poo blanket, a little white bumpy minky blanket that I'm going to put over by the crib. We have the sheets for the crib and the sheets for the changing table. They're all poo bear. I love them, except for this one, obviously. Um, big stuffed poo for the rocking chair. This super cute statue my parents got for us. Um, I think this was from Hallmark. I really want to say this was from Hallmark. Um, but look how cute it is, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so cute. I love that he's reaching in there for some honey. Um, we've got some wallpaper to put up above the batten board wall, or board and batten wall, however you say it. I say it wrong every time. And then a curtain rod to hang, and then these right here are the curtains. So that's kind of what we're working with. We've got a lot of decorating still to do, but not like a whole lot. Not a whole lot, just, just a lot. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so if you're watching this right now, that means that I am currently in the labor and delivery room at the hospital waiting to have this baby and I am so thrilled that you are here to spend some time with me because this is going to be a long process. We are getting induced at 39 weeks and an inducement process is much different than if you go into labor spontaneously. So yeah. Inducement process is so much different. If you've ever been induced early or if you had to be induced um, unexpectedly, like I did the last time. So with Milo, I had I was induced un unexpectedly due to lack of movement of the baby. And this time around, I was um, induced due to the size of our baby. So I am four foot seven. You guys know the name of my channel is Living Life Little. And I actually was induced this time because our baby is... Um, planned to be, you know, there's no way of really knowing, but, um, expected, I guess, I guess the word would be expected to be around eight and a half to nine pounds. That is a massive, massive baby, um, for someone my height and stature to have. So they really wanted to take extra precaution, um, instead of waiting an extra week. And so that's why we're here. And I've been through this process before, like I said, with Milo, and it was just, honestly so hard on my body so I'm really grateful that you guys are here with me if you're here with me I just want to say a quick thank you again and just keep me in your prayers and um, hopefully this goes really smoothly and we don't have any issues or complications and we just have a healthy baby and a healthy mommy and everything just goes the way that it's planned but I'm trying to trust God with that and just kind of let him take me me in this process wherever he wants me to go. Um, and I'm really excited to 
um, share with the world our sweet little bundle um, in hopefully not a whole lot of hours. <laughs> um, but if you're here, seriously, guys, comment down below, chat with me, get my mind off of this process because this is one of the hardest things that your body will do um, ever in labor and delivery, like period. But just to be in the the room with all this medication pumping into you and all these different procedures happening um, to kickstart labor um, manually, I guess, if you want to say that. Um, it's just a difficult process. So um, chat with me down below. Let me know if you think it's a boy or a girl. We still don't know. Um, and let me know what you think the name would be. Just want to let you guys know that you guys are with me right here in the labor and delivery room, and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Yeah, and a sparkly shimmer. It's finally time to show you guys the final result of everything. So we're going to start out with a toy box. This toy box is reused from my son. You can see it is a bit damaged. That is okay. We wanted to reuse as much stuff as possible. But inside of this, we basically just have, just have a bunch of toys that Milo doesn't play with anymore. Baby-related toys, soft books, things like that that the baby can enjoy. So that is what is in here. And we have this super cute, pretty... 100 acre wood um, framed photo up here. I did get this off Amazon as well as the frame. So anything in this room, I will try to have find links below. I'm so sorry, I'm so out of breath. I walk around like this all the time because I don't have enough breath to say anything anymore. Um, but right next to this is the rocker. You can see that has plenty of room so it doesn't hit the wall back there. But I just threw this little Winnie the Pooh um, and honey pot blanket over the corner of it. That's going to be for like nighttime feedings, that kind of thing. And then I just have these two cute little Winnie the Pooh stuffies in the chair right there. Um, this is so cute. I love this so much. So this is the baby shusher. If you don't know what that is, look it up because I'm super excited to use this. I did not have this for Milo. I'm going to kind of sit down here. Um, but I did not have this for Milo. And what it does is basically it just shushes for you so you don't have to do it. <laughs> I know that sounds super lazy, but I'm super excited about it. This right here is amazing. We have the same one for Milo. He still uses it, which is why we got a second one. Um, and then back here, this was actually found at the thrift store. It's a Pooh Bear bookend. Um, and yes, I'm aware that the rabbit's ears are torn off. I don't really care about stuff like that. It doesn't bother me. Um, I just think it's super cute and kind of vintagey looking. Um, and I've put some Pooh Bear books inside of those bookends. So, very excited about this little table. I also got this table on Amazon as well. Very easy to put together if you couldn't tell by um, me putting it together in the first video. By the way, I will have that linked right here so you can go check that one out when you're done with this. Um, this is a three-part series. Um, this is the third video, so feel free to check out the other two videos. One is an organizing video and one's just a preparation video. Um, but this table has been so solid and so cute and it's really affordable, so... I'll have that link down below as well. I'm just going to go from down here so I don't have to stand back up. We have our animal net, which you guys know we love our animal nets. We have one in Milo's room, one in the playroom, and now one in here. And I put a lot of the Pooh Bear stuffed animals in there and just like the more baby ones that Milo doesn't really play with anymore. Um, and so yeah, that is that and it's doing a really good job holding it up there. I'm trying to not directly get you guys in the sunlight here. But these are the curtains that we chose, and they are blackout curtains. Um, we had blackout curtains for Milo, and they were just game changers. It is so incredibly dark in here when they are shut, so I'm super glad for that. Um, and then we have these little bookshelves we had in Milo's nursery as well. And they just hold, like, the perfect amount of books. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. And also, I can reach more of these books than I can reach in Milo's. Um, old nursery because I don't know what I was thinking, but I put them like way up high on the wall and it was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. So um, on the floor here, sorry, I'm going to catch my breath real quick. On the floor here, we have some of the more interactive stuffed animals where like you can press a hand and they dance or sing or talk to you. Um, and then over here we have the um, tummy time mat, which is the same one we had for my little, actually none of this stuff is new right here at all. I wanted to, like I said, reuse as much as I possibly could. Um, and then in here we have the Mama Roo, which is the same one that we had for Milo. 
and it's in super good condition and it's filled right now with a bunch of like toys, rattles, teethers and stuff that just need to be cleaned up. So I'm just going to have to wipe those down, but it's right by an outlet and you can see over there, I'm going to zoom in here, that we put all of our outlet safety covers on them already. So that is that. Then we have our beautiful wall. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so beautiful. I absolutely love, love, love the wall, how it turned out. Whew, it was a chore. <laughs> the whole thing was a chore and a lot more work than I anticipated it being, but it's beautiful. I love the color yellow. I love the Pooh Bear, like the Pooh Bear vibes that I get from it. And just the top of it goes really well with the rocking chair and I don't know it just to me it just made sense and then when baby gets here we'll know whether it's a boy or girl at that point and I will put their name up there in like yellow wooden block letters so that's the plan for that but we do have this super super sweet little let me see if I can get this to work here How cute is that, you guys? Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Ugh. Okay, so this is Milo's old crib. Um, and we got a new, brand new mattress because he is still currently using his toddler mattress. Um, or I guess the crib mattress as a toddler mattress because that's what his bed takes. Um, but look at these sheets, you guys. Oh my mercy. How cute are they? Ugh. I love it so, 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 so much. Um, under the bed here, I have put all of the diapers, um, our diaper stash and stock. So once that's done, that'll clear that space all the way out. Um, that is the closet right there. I will show you that in just a moment, but this is so cute. This is Milo's old, like, rattle slash teether, and it's so cute. So perfect for this bedroom to hang on the door right there. Um, here is his changing mat his changing mat cover right now is like a quilt material and it's it's so perfect and it matches I didn't even realize this <laughs> I didn't even realize this this entire time this matches this look like the Pooh Bear on the sheets is the same as the Pooh Bear right here I had literally no idea until just now that's amazing so those match <laughs> now I know um, and then this beautiful mirror I actually got at Hobby Lobby because the one on Amazon was so stinking expensive, so I just chose a more suitable, affordable option for me. This is from Milo's old nursery. His nursery was on elephants. If you guys want to see that, um, I can link that below as well. Um, but this is a totally different house. Um, but I didn't have any shelves in here to put that on, so I went ahead and just hung it on the wall. And then we've got this really sweet little Pooh Bear nightlight. So when you flip the switch... And obviously it's dark in here. He like has a very mellow light to him, but he's so, so cute and I love how neutral he is. And then we got this white diaper caddy, which has like all of the nighttime or necessary needs to be able to move around with us. And this I believe is a Hallmark find. And this might be a Hallmark find too. This one's an old one. This one's brand new. So this one is actually one of those ones that holds pictures in it. So I thought I would take pictures of Milo and the new baby. And this, in case y'all were wondering, Milo picked this up immediately and dropped it. And like one of the things broke off of it. So we have to glue that on. But <laughs> that's what happens. It's okay. It's fine. Um, so yeah, let me take you over to the closet and show you. Okay, so nothing super Pinteresty or fancy in here. But we have the little bumbo seat up there that we won't need for a little bit. That is actually a little arm pouch for your arm while you're feeding baby because babies are heavy <laughs> and I'm small. Um, that cube has like a bunch of extra clothes in it that are not going to fit the baby quite yet. And then we have a tub of shoes that aren't going to fit quite yet and books that are a little bit older for baby but a lot younger for Milo. So those are pretty much all of his old books that he doesn't read anymore. Um, and then we have some hangers. I love these felt gray hangers. These are the exact same ones I have in Milo's room, and I just love, I love them. So I went ahead and ordered 
a bunch of those off of Amazon. Um, and then we have some sleep sacks, some shirts, um, you know, all that good stuff. Some some hang-up stuff. A lot of the stuff is in the drawers. but um, And the pink hangers are just in case we have a girl. We had a family friend that gave all of those to us. And I just kept them just, just in case. Um, so I just left those in there. And then we have our three-tiered rolly cart here with some extra baby supplies down here. Hats, bibs, and some lightweight blankets. And that blanket that says, like, my first holidays, that's this blanket. So that's all done there. And then we have our Pooh Bear hamper. How cute is this Pooh Bear hamper? It's so stinking cute. Um, and I have some stuff that we've bought since I wash all the clothes and put them in there. So... Anyway, that is it, y'all. That's the whole closet. Nothing too fancy in there. Like I said, it's not Pinteresty at all, but it works, it's functional, it's super clean and organized, and that's all I wanted. Reaching for 